This one's my favorite. So I, I'm probably going to make a lot of people blush right now because most people get red in the face because we're all guilty of this. Check out is easily the most vapid, lazy call to action on the face of the planet. You should all 86 it from your vocab immediately. And think instead about what active verbs really define the call to action you're intending, right? So check out is, is meant to be like, go and see or go and look or learn more, which are all, you know, not the most ideal verbs either, because they're kind of general. But what you want to do is think about what's the value behind what you want someone to do and try to pull that value out front so they can get an understanding if they were to click to check out my link, right? If they're to click it, what are they, what's going to happen? So I'll show you some examples of how to use better call to actions here. So this is my LinkedIn feed where I do a lot of my social and I'll walk through each of the parts of this. So the call to action here is it's not even really a verb. I'm just saying more real talk for entrepreneurs and underdogs with my rad pals, Jim and, and Chris. So I'm sort of even av avoiding a direct call to action and making it more a little bit tricksy here. Like I like this technique a lot because I feel like it's subtle. It's not selling, but it's selling, right? A couple other things that I do that I'll break down um, in the slides as well, but just to go over them while we're here. So is a is a tactic, right? I'm I'm trying to make you feel like you know me already. I'm bringing you into my orb for trust. We're talking about the book, The Secret. I'm using the word barf, <laughs> which is fun to say. I love onomatopoeia. Um, people hear what what they read, so they're they're hearing that and they're laughing. I know they are because they've all responded to me. And then I'm giving some advice. This is that authority piece we talked about before. So the secret isn't a secret at all. I'm not saying I don't think it is, or maybe it is. I'm I'm making as though like <laughs> I know it. And then it's a mindset. So I'm being very clear about what what I believe is true and really commanding you into believing me. So the other one I wanted to touch on was another way to use that call to action without saying check out. So in this case, um, again, I'm, I'm using that subtle thing more on why the hard ways work with my pal, Mark Evans. We talked about what's the value behind clicking something. So right here, I'm saying why the hard ways work. So what are the hard ways? That's what I want you to ask yourself. And I'll read this out so you can, you can hear it. In the beginning, we didn't think so much that we were building a company, but that we were building a community. So all of that is also meant to be controversial, right? Because, you know, why, why wouldn't I think I was building a community, which that's what everybody thinks you're, or a company when you're, when you're a startup, right? It should be focused on building this company and having this vision. And what I'm saying, we're all, that our vision was more of like a culture, a, a hangout place, right? And, it turns out that this was smart AF. So I'm using my vernacular, how I talk here, smart, and then AF, because I like to be a little bit um, rogue, right? And then I love using the parentheses as well, because this is a statement under the breath, if I don't say so myself with a little rock hand. So visually, you have the parentheses, you've got the ellipses, and then you've got my um, arrows here that are all pushing you like a very visual call to action to click this and um, find out, you know, what are these hard ways?